thank you very much uh, for coming to this event. So today roadshow, this is one of the roadshow that we have planned uh, throughout India. Uh, this is the fourth city that uh, we cover. Uh, first uh, in Chennai, second in uh, Bangalore, uh, third uh, in uh, Hyderabad, and now in Mumbai. Okay, uh, the objective is, of course, we want to uh, promote Malaysia, and we want to get back the, the to capture back the market uh, from India, and then also to promote Malaysia as a main uh, destination uh, among um, Indian tourists. Uh, and we hope that uh, today program we can uh, offer uh, special packages and also attraction that can uh, that can uh, create attraction uh, attraction attention from the Indian tourists to come to Malaysia. Yeah. And then, if I may. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as what what CG said just now. So this roadshow is uh, we bring. 30 Malaysia, 31 Malaysian uh, travel agent, hotels, product owner, uh, state tourism to come and join together to promote a new destination, new tourism product, new packages uh, to to induce the tourism uh, sector in uh, especially the tourists from India coming back after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So when it's coming back after pandemic, we are talking Indians are uh, hunger looking for place to travel. So that's why we bring 30 of them to go around five cities, including Delhi, six cities, to, to make sure that they promote Malaysia as a, a renewed energetic tourism destination. As you know, before pandemic, we received 735,000 Indians coming, coming to Malaysia. So after pandemic, up to last year, we expected to get 322,000 in 2022. And this year, with the flight capacity that we have, we targeted to have this uh, 500,000 over Indians coming. So in order to have 500,000 500, Indians coming, we must have this kind of promotion. Not only this is one, one type of promotion that we want to do. So that's why we always work together with uh, Ms. MATA. MATA stands for Malaysia Association Travel Agent Association. We come together to promote Malaysia in order to get the tourist arrival uh, numbers from India. Yes, sir, please uh, do highlight the thing that you're saying. Go up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it is indeed a great pleasure for us to team up with uh, Malaysia Tourism Board, as Tourism Malaysia. Uh, we are Malaysian Tour and Travel Agent Association. We are one of the largest uh, NGOs uh, to uh, look after the welfare of the uh, travel trade in the country. So we team up with uh, Tourism Malaysia uh, for the past uh, 10, 10 years to promote Malaysia in various uh, destinations. So India is one of our key uh, primary destinations uh, whereby due to historical ties with uh, in India between both countries, as well as India is one of the main trading partners for Malaysia. Uh, socially and economically, we are closely tied. So that's the reason Malaysia is one of the attractive destinations for Indian uh, tourists to come. Because when they come there, they feel they are more at home uh, due to various factors, uh, including food and safety. Malaysia is one of the safest country in uh, Southeast Asia. So when they, uh, when they come with a family now that they are at East, uh, Malaysia offer uh, first world facilities uh, for them to visit as well as uh, uh, nature and uh, uh, so forth. So this is one of the reasons why uh, Indians uh, treat Malaysia as one of the preferred destinations and also is one of the reasonably priced destinations compared to uh, our neighbours. And uh, with uh, our new government in place, uh, that actually enable more closer bilateral ties between these two countries, uh, that actually paved way for reintroduction of e-visa, which makes the travel between both countries are more ease. And recently our government actually announced a multiple entry visa for passengers who are traveling on cruise 
as well as uh, our, uh, uh, based on our government's uh, goal to make Malaysia is one of the wedding primary wedding uh, destination wedding destinations. So it's also given a multiple entry visa for these facilities. So, uh, basically, I've, I've, uh, these are the factors that actually attracts uh, Indian tourists to come and visit Malaysia. Due to that, we, together with uh, Tourism Malaysia, we brought a strong uh, 30 uh, odd uh, delegation uh, to visit various cities to promote our beautiful country. Thank you. How these kind of events are helpful for Indians travel to Malaysia? What is the what other thing that has been discussed here, and how it will be helpful such event for Indian people? Just I think it's I think it's directed. Yeah, directed. Check out, check out, Yeah. What your views about this event and how it will be helpful for Indian people who want to travel to Malaysia? To okay. directly with the uh, actually, this Basho is a very uh, good a good initiative from the from the government of Malaysia. So actually, uh, it gives a space spaces to and then uh, for the travel agents to come and meet with the sellers here. So it's very efficient, and then they are they are very encouraged uh, to buy uh, to meet our sellers and uh, buy our product and packages uh, from Malaysia. Lastly, sir, how COVID has I mean, affected the business and how it is like uh, coming up again or like getting on the line? I mean, business has been uh, almost uh, uh, bad in, during COVID. How it is improving? Like, in okay, the, yeah, in okay. The, uh, like uh, I always say to the people, uh, COVID sometimes they give some bad and negative and positive. Of course, the, the negative part, the business, uh, especially in tourism business in Malaysia, mostly uh, they are uh, almost collapsed. Some of them close the rest, uh, shop and others. But in other way, we reset back our tourism industry. We reset back. You, uh, they learn how they have. They learn like you know, like we have vaccine, for example. We learn how to move back from zero, go back to the normal one, and then from the normal one, they move back to. The, you know the extreme one so that's how we uh, that's how uh, in Malaysia especially uh, tourism industry during the COVID time we reset back we improve our facilities we improve our infrastructure you know all the road you know the signage you know during that time because no tourists we can do anything you know then we start the new packages new uh, repackage our product we put inside more uh, more uh, tourism product to be sell uh, to not only Indians, for most of the tourists in the market. So last year, when the border already opened in April for Malaysia, we start to introduce, we started to in introduce a lot of tourism product to the separate, uh, to different market, different product. Some market we show to everything. So like India, this is the second time. Uh, this is the third time we come like this big uh, uh, to all India, even though to the second and third tier city. You know like. Very, uh, like Pune, Cochin, you know, Wyzak. Uh, so we try to do all this. So because why? To, we want to bring back uh, our tourism business in Malaysia uh, to the normal way first. Because in, after 2025, we expect that tourism will go better than 2019. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.